The storyline for this week for the Pier Trappers has been so close, but yet seemingly so far. A 2-2 two two mark could easily be 0-4, or it could also be 4-0. But tonight, the phrase that head coach Tanner O'Neill is providing to his team is, if not now, when? A three-game set tonight with their rivals from up north could provide just the medicine the Trappers need to rocket their way back up the Expedition League standings. Two offerings, swing, ground ball, third base side. Phelps will pick it up. Charging for home is Cody Keel. The throw is over the head of Alex Gonzalez, and Keel scores. Racing down to second as Alex picks up the ball is the batter, Thomas Alexander, and it's 1-0 Wheat City, and the Trappers cannot record an out. The 1-0 pitch. It's a swing and a liner over the head of the first baseman, Ellison, in the right field. One run scores. Alexander is being waved to the plate. The throw in by Piazza, not in time, as going across the home plate dish standing is Tomex Alexander. A two RBI single for Keegan Saltz keeps the line moving, and Wheat City has trounced Colin Dink in the early going. It's 3 0, and there's still nobody gone to the bottom of the first. This game taking the alternate route from last night where the Trappers really started to climb the ladder offensively in the early portion of Thursday's contest. Starting pitching in this week especially has been on. Every starter has gone at least five innings from Monday through Thursday. The 1-1 offering is a swing and a liner. It's past the second baseman. Nick Altermatt for another base hit. Scoring is Soltz. Harris being waved in from second. The throw is a little bit too late. And Wheat City continues to pad their lead. The first five batters of the inning have all crossed home plate safely. It is 5-0 here in inning number one as Jaden Key is aboard at first with a two RBI base hit. Good crowd from Andrews Field. Their team leads at 7-0 top of the second inning. Torgerson ready with the 2-0, the offering. A swing and a liner into left field, base hit over the third baseman's head of Alexander. It'll head to the wall as it evades Jaden Key at left field. Rounding first, heading for second with a stand-up double is Tate Ellison. And the first baseman continuing his smoldering ways here in this week of action. First hit of the game for the Pier Trappers is a double by the number six hitter Tate Ellison. And it will give Mark Modest an opportunity to put forth his first RBI of 2019. One ball, one strike. Carneman delivers that ball in the dirt. Pass the glove of Gonzalez. Racing for home is Picorni. The throw in is not in time. Heading to seconds for Cella. He'll take off for third as the throw evaded the glove of Carneman at home and into third with an 180 foot advancement for Cella. Picorni scores without even having to do anything. Robbie Merced gets a run home and it's an 8 0 Wheat City lead. Trappers in the fifth inning have been relatively solid against their opponents. Eight runs to seven, they're outscoring their opponents in the fifth inning of play. Deuce is wild. Pitch on the way. God, I'm looking as Miles Harris stares at an off-speed pitch that bings on the outside corner. And Joey Carneman strikes out the side to complete the fourth. Ellison at first base this evening for the Pier Trappers. The righty-on-righty righty matchup, Torgerson's ready with the first pitch. It's a swing and a lacing line drive into center. That's going to get down. It gets off the glove of the center fielder, Jace Bailey. Around third and being held by Tanner Neal is Zane Phelps as Jace Bailey nearly made an acrobatic catch, but he could not corral it. Tate Ellison will get credit with his second hit of the game as there's no way you can mark that an error. Bailey had to dive and leave it all on the line to even get close. But the Trappers, for the second time today, have the bases loaded, and Mark Modest would love his opportunity to cut into the lead. There is no place to put the number seven hitter tonight. And so Cole Torgerson, who had worked a shutout through five and a third, in danger now of giving up the first run of the game for the Wheat City team. The 3-2 pitch, upstairs ball four, and the Trappers are on the board here on this Friday night. Mark Modest walks as Torgerson let the left fielder go. Crossing home is Zane Phelps, and Peer has pierced the scoreboard here. It's now a 9-1 game. Trying to single-handedly get their team back into the game. Tyler Rennell waits on deck, but the lefty Cal Burr looks at a 2-1 pitch and swings and hits one up the middle. That will not evade the shortstop's glove of Marson. He's able to flip to second with a glove for one. The relay not in time. But Robbie Marsed, though he yields a run on the play, saved what might have been a two-run single. 
Marsa diving as he was ranging to his left, flipped with the glove on the dive, and so out at seconds, Modest. Reaching on the fielder's choices caliber to keep the inning alive. And the Trappers have made it 9-2. 3-1 coming. Another swing and a miss and a nice fastball from Forcella. Two consecutive batters. Denise has worked the count from 3-0 to 3-2. We'll see if he can do the same that he did to Jaden Key and batter a go. Payoff pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. Two consecutive batters. Jared Denise has rung them up after falling behind 3-0. What persistence by the right-handed reliever to get out of the seventh unscathed. Mitch Lyle working on inning number three of relief, replacing the starter Colt Torgerson. Lefty fires. A swing, ground ball, first base side. That is going to stay fair. It's picked up by Lyle, who tags out Tate Ellison, and that is all she wrote for the game tonight. Mitch Lyle, who shut the door in relief of Torgerson, gets the final put out in Wheat City has taken game three of this five game stint by a final of 10 to two.